हाई फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी विल शो यू हाउ टू यूज द जनोसी हॉप और इंडक्शन सो दिस इज द इंडक्शन पेनल फॉर कुकिंग एंड दिस इज क्वाइट कॉमन इन यूरोपियन हाउस होल्ड इट इज क्वाइट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम आर ट्रेडिशनल बर्नर स्टाइल कुकिंग रेंज सो लेट्स डेमोन्स्ट्रेट हाउ टू यूज दिस इन द राइट वे the four cooking areas as you can see in the circles are called the cooking zone these are the two identical cooking zones of 145 mm each that one is slightly bigger at 180 mm and this is 210 mm so what is the purpose of these four cooking zones are the different size of utensils that you can put on these different zones and this area is called the control panel which you will use to operate the induction hob now let's turn it on and see how it works so this is the power plug for the induction hob we will turn it on after you turn it on you go to the control panel and this is the start on off button you click this it is now turned on Once the control panel is turned on you can see 0000 on four plates which means the left two plates are for the left two cooking zones the right two plates are for the right two cooking zones so you have to remember which cooking zone you are cooking your utensil in let us turn it on again if i want to cook in cooking zone 1 i will select the button so this highlights the cooking zone 1 and then i have to increase the temperature to the desired degree of heat now what does this 1 2 3 4 5 means is the intensity of heat as you can see this is turning red you do not have to touch it otherwise you will burn your hand this is level 9 is the highest degree of heat i'll turn it off this was for demonstration purposes only and this is now displaying h so this is a indicator showing that the cooking zone was recently used and is hot so you are not supposed to touch it otherwise it will burn your hand there are few things you have to keep in mind before using the induction hob the first and foremost thing is the type of utensil because this induction hob has magnetic properties it works well with iron utensils which have a symbol of induction heating at the back let me show you one such utensil that i use these are some of the utensils i have bought to use on the induction hub how do i know that this is induction safe you turn the back there is a circular ring symbol it says induction so this is how you know that this is induction safe then some utensils do not have the symbol like this pan it has these dots then this is also a indicator that this is induction safe for added precaution you can always check the utensil seller if the utensil that they are selling is induction uh, usable or not this is another induction proof utensil that i have got in which i will show you how to boil water so you turn off the induction you select the cooking zone in which you are cooking which is number 1 you put the temperature you want to boil at now this is the interesting part how do you know what temperature to set for different types of cooking let me show you how to do that so this is for the instruction manual for the zanussi hob so these are the different heat settings you can see are used for different types of cooking So the one that I showed you just now was to boil water. That's why it was the highest setting at nine. This is the highest temperature the Zanussi induction hob will take. But if you are just steaming vegetables or steaming potatoes, then you have to use lower degrees of heat. Otherwise, your food will burn. So you have to remember, and this you will learn through different styles of cooking of how cooked you want the food. But you have to be very careful when you are initially doing cooking on induction hob because the duration of cooking depends on the heat setting and if you are not careful the food can easily burn 
so the water is now heating almost at boiling temperature so we can see this is very hot and this has taken just a few seconds so you can imagine how powerful this heat is so now that the water is boiled i will turn off the cooking zone one by again setting the temperature to zero and turning the power off so this is how you can start to use the, your induction hob few things you have to keep in mind you have to remember that this surface is very delicate this is like glass so if you put or throw a object at a hard way this can easily break and is very expensive to replace also you have to clean it regularly because if there are large oil or spots of food there then it can easily disturb or crack the surface of the hob so you need to clean it regularly and do not my friends remember do not use the regular scotch brite or any other hard abrasive uh, cleaners on the hob we use the specially designed hob cleaners and hob mops which are easily available in any discount grocery shops at near your house so just remember to get a good hob cleaner liquid and a hob mop to clean it do not use abrasive surfaces otherwise this is very delicate glass this can easily scratch and the cracks can be permanent so friends it is very easy to use you just have to keep a few things in mind before you are using induction hob and remember this is not the same as your gas hob so my uh, friends i hope this video was useful you enjoyed listening and understanding the instructions and i hope you do enjoy cooking on your zanussi induction hob please like share and subscribe my youtube channel if you have any questions about using the induction or the different temperatures to use it as please feel free to send your comments and we will reply as soon as possible thank you enjoy cooking on your zanussi induction hob